Hello friends. Today, we will talk about a very important electricity project in Panjshir province. This project, which is known as Parande Power Line, started 16 years ago with a cost of $7.5 million dollars and so far, 96% of its work has been completed. But the Islamic Emirate seeks to complete the rest of this project by pursuing new efforts. The governor of Panjshir says that 2 million US dollars are needed to complete the remaining 4% of the Parande power in Bazarak, the capital of this province. For the last stage in 2013, the work of this project at a total cost of $7.5 million dollars was placed with a company called Interglobal Middle East, which since then has spent about $6 million dollars in this project. In the Economic Commission of the Ministry of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, there was a discussion on this project recently, and based on the decision of the Commission, the Ministry of Water and Electricity was directed to pay the required money for the completion of this project. And the said ministry also promised in this regard. Deposit. The completion of this power line will take three months. The Paranda Dam has the capacity to produce four megawatts of electricity and can supply electricity to Parwan and Kapisa provinces in addition to Panjshir. The governor of Panjshir says that he is trying to complete and put into operation the Parande Bazarak power project in the center of this province by the end of this year. He expressed these words while visiting Parande power station. The Islamic Emirate is going to start work on the completion of this project soon. The construction of the power plant known as Paranda at the cost of $7.5 million dollars was first started in 2007 by the then Ministry of Water and Electricity with a contract with the Russian company Norman, and now with the equipping and installation of two turbines each with a production capacity. In the future, two megawatts of electricity can supply parts of neighboring provinces, including Bazarak and seven districts of Panjshir. Since the start of this project, due to the escape and breach of contract of the contracting companies, the work of this project has remained incomplete. However, the experts of the economic sector say that if this dam is used, the residents of Panjshir will no longer need imported electricity. The escape of a Russian company and the second company's objection to the equipment prolonged the work of the Panjshir power dam, and allegations of corruption in this project led some employees of the Ministry of Energy and Water to the Attorney General's office. The work of this project should have been completed in one year and eight months after the first contract signed with a Russian company, Norman, in 2007. But it is not finalized yet. The Russian contracted company of this project, which has escaped, has disappeared from the Ministry of Energy and Water. Because it had no guarantee and the second contracted company of this project, Interglobal Middle East, which is a Ukrainian company, also stopped the work and refused to install the turbines that the Russian company had imported and said that these turbines can. They are not installed. This dam will be built in the Parande Valley in the center of Panjshir province, above the sea of this province. According to the information of the Ministry of Energy and Water, the length of the pipeline of this dam is 2200 meters and its diameter is one tenth of two meters. In Panjshir province, about eight power towers have been built in different areas of this province. These towers were built by domestic and foreign institutions and organizations, and more than a thousand families have benefited from its light. Officials have announced that a power tower in Anaba district of Panjshir, built by a Turkish organization at a cost of one and a half million Afghani, has been put into operation in an official opening ceremony. The official of a Turkish Afghan institution said, it has a capacity of 100 kilovolts. The Alphala Institute supplies electricity to all the electrical systems, and it has charged approximately one and a half million Afghani, which is $18,000. Meanwhile, the residents of Panjshir say that most of the residents of this province still do not have access to electricity. Controlling the rivers in the region, especially the Panjshir River, can significantly improve people's lives. By providing water resources and exploiting the water potential of the region, it becomes possible to build a power dam in these areas. These foundations allow the people of this region to achieve more ease in supplying electricity to their homes and businesses. In this way, curbing the Panjshir River as a comprehensive measure 
not only helps to improve people's living conditions, but also helps the economic development and stability of the region. Harande Power Dam Project in Panshir Province has served the benefit of the local community by completing a significant part of the works and has brought many benefits to the people of this province. This project, not only by providing electricity for more than 8,000 households and a population of several hundred thousand people in Panshir Province, but also by developing electricity infrastructure in different areas, according to officials, has succeeded in improving living conditions and increasing social welfare in this area, has been also by providing new economic opportunities and increasing social facilities. The Parande Power Dam project is considered as a key factor in the transformation and sustainable development of Panjshir province. These efforts show the commitment of the authorities to the development and welfare of the local community. And we hope that with the completion of the remainder of this project, its positive effects on people's lives will improve. Eventually, Panjshir province is one of the northern provinces of Afghanistan, which is known for its history of resistance, rich local culture, and green and beautiful nature. This province is always considered as one of the attractive tourist spots in Afghanistan with its impressive natural scenery, beautiful cities and villages, and abundant vegetation. Panjashir is also known as a cultural and historical center with a number of castles and ancient monuments. In addition, the people of Panjashir have preserved their social and ethnic values by having their own culture and traditions. Also, the important role of the province of Panjshir in the context of the contemporary history of Afghanistan as a center of resistance against foreign aggression and internal conflicts has not only shown it as a symbol of national resistance and endurance, but also has a special place in the minds of the Afghan people for a long time. Has followed. Thank you for watching.